Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel QC Talks. And today we are talking about picking your nose and how you could, you know, put yourself at risk of Alzheimer's and dementia if you have a habit of picking your nose. You have a lot of details about this. Please continue to watch this video. Picking your nose might seem harmless and gross, but new research shows that it might have some devastating consequences according to press release published by Griffith University on Friday. A new research demonstrates that a bacteria can travel through the olfactory nerve in the nose and into the brain in mice where it creates markers that are a sign of Alzheimer's disease. More specifically, what the team found was that chlamydia pneumonia used the nerve endings between the nasal cavity and the brain as a direct path to reach the central nervous system. The cells in the brain then re react by depositing amyloid beta protein, which is a key precursor to the development of Alzheimer's disease. The findings are in line with previous research on the matter. So now let's find out how picking your nose is related to this. Picking uh, to lower the risk of developing late onset of Alzheimer's disease, St. John recommends avoiding certain activities like picking your nose and plucking the hair from your nose are not a good idea, he said. We don't want to damage the inside of your nose and picking and plucking can do exactly that. If you damage the lining of the nose, you increase how many bacteria mm -hmm. can go up into your brain. He further recommends smell tests for those who are 60 years and older in order to diagnose uh, Alzheimer's and dementia early. Once you get over 65 years old, your risk factor goes right up. But we are looking at other causes as well because uh, it's not just age, it's environmental exposure as well. And we think that bacteria and viruses are critical. So that's what the recommendation is. Uh, I hope you've liked the video and it was informative. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead.